Hey guys, Jack Austin here. I play Mike Archer in a new Seven Lamb audio drama series called Tower 4. Mike is a newly hired fire watcher in the Wyoming woods. What he thinks is going to be an easy five months of surveying the woods and working on his book quickly turns creepy as he starts picking up eerie whispers and classical music over his radio. More strange occurrences take place with each passing day. If you want to listen to this new mystery thriller, visit www.7lamb.com or search for Tower 4 wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey everybody! Hi guys, we're back. This six, is it's uh, six a.m. Hour thirteen. <sighs> this Woo. might be a little bit of a shorter episode because the last episode went long. Yeah. So, but that's fine. We got, but we Brett's got till here. seven, and Brett's here. He's our new guest. He even though he was on the last he was, he was episode the a little last bit, episode, but yeah, he's here. But now he's here, and that's he's right. the main draw of this episode. That's right. <laughs> He's the oh, great. You were fucked. The main, He's the main money, man. <laughs> nope. Listen, we're starting to get tired. Yep. You're going to have to keep it, Definitely. Keep it going we're for 12 us. 12 hours away. Can I, can I say something? And this is a, this is kind of a, this is a seven land productions reference. Okay. Uh, once again, right. Rob, I've always been a fan of your work. Oh, thank you. I appreciate and it. And Jack, it is a huge pleasure meeting you for the first time. Thank you. Because um, I was, I've listened to, I, I mean, story was, I've told you that's, I love paralyzed, but story, the walk was right. my favorite. Uh, that, uh, that whole podcast meant a lot to me during the time I was listening to it. And I was very impressed with your work on it. And I was also impressed that the same guy was interviewing Rob for a walk across for the America. Walk. <laughs> and like, it was, it was so cool. Like here you see shit like roll tide. I'm like, that's not what John said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now I'm yeah. getting, so I, 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 I gotta be honest with you. When I listened to like the first season of end of all hope. Yeah. It, it wasn't gripping me as much, but I was like, right. I gotta get into this. Mm-hmm. So I just started with season two Yeah, and I love it. And it goes, yeah. It but definitely th- picks up. The one it. thing that really threw me off is that your character, Ambridge. Yeah. There was a, there was like one point where, because you don't do any narration in it. As like, as, at least right, I haven't gotten right. Until later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're walking to the car by yourself, I'm like, man, I hope this guy is telling the truth or whatever. I'm like, mm-hmm. Am I just listening to the walk, but with zombies? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, I literally, I thought I was listening to the walk for like that yeah. one second because you you turned into was it John that was your your character? Well, John, or... John was somebody who was just my real voice because we didn't want right. to add any yeah. accent or anything to him, just be a straight talker. Yeah, and Ambridge coincidentally is, is my awesome. voice too. Yeah, and he's just me, so I could see why you would think that. But, yeah. but I, I mean, I, I, there's there's a huge difference. I mean, there's yeah. there's a difference between Ambridge is a little bit more intense. And but it was just like this really cool thing where I was like, it's like reminding you of it. Holy shit, Yeah, it was like <laughs> yeah. I thought I was listening to Walk for like this one second. And Nick, by the way, is fucking fantastic uh, in the Walk. The you're talking about is Chase, right? I, and I think Nick is great in everything you put yeah. him in. I mean, Nick is really, really good. I'm seeing him in a few hours. I think it's uh, Ben's birthday. That's, so they have a no. Count. It's oh, it's Nick's birthday right now. Is it Nick's birthday? It's too? Nick's birthday. It's the 19th, right? What what's today? Today is the nineteenth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's his birthday. What's his? Well, they're having a birthday party for his son. Why? I don't think. Why? It, because it's his, it's his it's son. Not his, it's not his son's birthday, is it? Well, his son his son's birthday was like a week ago. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, but I thought yeah. they already did a birthday for yeah. uh, Ben, but maybe they're doing one for both of them because this having- is Nick's birthday. That's why. I wasn't sure if he was going to show up on the podcast. Right. Look, all I know is there's a bouncy house and I might be going and to you're it in a few hours. And you're taking your uh, shoes off and you're going right in. <laughs> oh, damn right. Yep. That's for the adults. It's not for the kids. You better double bounce somebody. <laughs> yeah. He just goes in there, knocks the kids out. The and kids then, don't have a chance. Yeah. Now, uh, that's right. I should. I'll, I need to make sure I text him after this stream and let him know. Neither one of us have our phones. So if anybody's know, so messaging us in the chat, hi. Re- re- and remind us to yeah. message uh, Nick for his birthday. Because yeah. Nick plays uh, uh, Chase in the Walk. Yeah. He plays um, uh, 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 Anderson in Movie Night. He plays um, Mark in End of All Hope. What else? I'm thinking... I don't think he was – he was Kent and Paralyzed in season one. He was Kent. He was Roland's partner in season one. 
Really? Yeah, that was him. And wait, wait, wait. Roland wasn't in season one, was she? Was she? she was, yeah, she yeah. was. She was the little episodes. Oh, the little episodes in between the chapters. And Kent was her partner. Was 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 he uh was he Roland's uh dead husband as well? No, no, no. Oh it was it. just her partner that like like I don't I don't know if I should like spoil. I guess it doesn't matter. We've been talking well, about it. I mean, stuff. what season are we on in Parallels? We're, we're just gonna start season, season four. Did you listen to season three? You yes. finished it, right? Yeah. Did you listen to Yeah, okay. I don't want to spoil that All because right. we just did that one. But did you like the finale? I did. Okay. And and I well <clears throat> I mean, okay. Without so spoiling it. You know, you know that I am a huge fan of Roland. Yeah, he and loves the cop. I love, <laughs> cop. I love, I want to meet the girl that does the voice of Roland. That's I, Amy. Amy. I, Amy. I don't think I've met Amy. You probably haven't. But a- she Amy is. plays Edith in Atlas Avenue Beat, Roland in Paralyzed, and then. And she's coming by at some point today. She's right? calling in. She's oh, yeah. uh, she's going to call in just because of a COVID scare, just in case she's yeah. going to yeah. call in. Good for, said, her. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. So, uh, um, no, she's a fucking badass. I mean, it's. Yeah. Uh, it, wait, wait, let's face it, man. These are your characters. Yeah, but they, so basically, you 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 make all these people badasses, but right. but the characters she's fucking I wow. write to like when somebody starts reading my lines, I usually start curving the lines to fit their. I was going to say, more. and you bring up Ambridge because he the way I started doing my mannerisms for yeah. him. My father was a military guy, and I've had some military in my family. I personally wasn't. I'm, but, I'm not surprised to hear that because how you. How you play Amber. And that's exactly good. why I play him that way. Yeah. I play him like, you know, if it was, you know, my dad and he was in this sick, particular situation, like, well, how would he, he play it? Yeah. yeah. And that's the way it comes off when I'm trying to do it. He's He's got a singular goal in mind, and he's really not into any nonsense from anybody. He's willing to, you know, help out Jay, who he's with. But, but Jay's like a that, younger brother to him almost. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I, I, that's what I've kind of like curved it to where like Jay was supposed to be a completely different character, but then I kind of formed it to Adam. And then like, as it went along, I like, I kind of liked his almost like neediness a little bit, yeah. like as like a character thing where Ambridge was kind of like his, not like mentor, but like kind of like his, his pal. And, kind of, and then it is kind of, it starts off like we're buds and then it turns out to where Amber just like, man, I'm always looking out for this kid. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm always doing, but something you for care him. for him. Yeah. So like now it's like, uh, I, like we're in this right. now together. Like yep. it's fine. Like I get my role. So, so. Ro- what is it like for you that you've, I mean, you're, you're the writer. This is, this is your, your child bread and here. butter like yeah well yeah. no no not bread no, no, and butter, no, no like, but like, I, you, like you created this right what is it like for you that like you you get to put this shit on paper and then you get to see it come to life and it's funny because like trisha asked me like from the writing standpoint do i like yeah. regret anything or am i happy like like that kind of stuff like when i write for like past episodes and like my whole thing is like i always want to like i like sometimes i like write an episode and i wish it was a little bit different or like i feel like i could keep working on it but sometimes you just have to kind of step back and be like it's good stop trying to fix it like yeah you, you don't want to work too hard have on you it. ever written something on the page and then had any particular actor say those lines and go fuck yeah that's exactly what i was going for yeah there's some times where like especially when i'm like coaching people to like act there's like sometimes where i want it read like a certain way mm-hmm. like it's not even like like a lot of times I'm pretty lenient with the way people are reading the lines. Cause right. I'm like, that's just who you are. Like do it. And, and you can change up the line a little bit as long as it fits your character. But then there's sometimes where like a scene just like kind of works or even if it's an ad lib scene and it, and it, and it works into the, that one scene, I'm like, yeah, that's the take. That's gonna like, that's the one I'm looking for. And actually with things now with the new seasons of paralyzed and even Atlas, because they're getting a little more like serious at times or like just a little more like dramatic, like, I, I can kind of picture it in my mind when people are acting I'm like, yeah, that's the take I want. That's the one that I'm, that's going to be awesome. Like when it comes out, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's kind of different for each one too, though. Like each, my favorite thing to do is when I'm reading an Atlas line or a cop doctor line and you're trying to keep a straight face oh, yeah. and I make you laugh yeah. reading your own line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's when I go, that's, that's it. I remember when it was cop, it was a cop doctor's episode where Megan, your wife was yeah. reading for a character and it was the dumbest episode that I've written so far. Yeah. And I remember like, she's reading it and like, 
we were laughing at some like we were just like dying laughing at one of the characters like the thing that was going that she was laughing too and we were just trying to get through this one page but it was like just the character stuff was so stupid it was yeah. just so dumb but it was like dumb that it was making us laugh and I, I thought that was awesome yeah but yeah for the most part but there are some times where i'm like writing like i don't especially with atlas cop doctors i really don't give a shit like right I, cop I just, doctors is a one and done yeah i write it and i'm like eh, that's good enough yeah. <laughs> like but atlas having to beat when i write it i'll go back and read through it and if i don't laugh at least like three times by something that i wrote i i want right. to make sure i go back to it if i read it if i don't laugh like three times i'm like all right i gotta fix it up i gotta change something <laughs> i gotta change something and like you know make it to where at least there's something that makes me laugh but sometimes it is the way somebody reads a line nick played uh the dude who worked at it was just a small role he played james master where he was like a psychic reader and the way that he read one of his lines like cracked me up where he like he was psychic so he was trying to finish james locke's uh sentences so he'd be like sentences sentences like you're like stop trying to finish he's like sentences sentences you're like stop saying sentences (laughs) and like that back and forth like was cracking me up like just even though i've already read that line a bunch of times by hearing it and then there's also an episode in or a line that you read in the new season which i won't spoil but it's just you something happens that's really fucking weird yeah and you just like it's like dead silent and then also you're just like what the fuck yeah. was that <laughs> like it's just yeah. the way you read it and i was like it like made me laugh yeah yeah or like when you like call her the she devil yeah you call her and she's like really still and you're like habit yeah. <laughs> and like it like just drag it out i'm like all right this is good yeah and it, as long as it makes me laugh and i'm listening to the episodes i'm like we then. just recorded an episode of end of all hope not too long ago where i won't spoil anything for that one but when i was done reading that one i was like this is gonna be fucking good yeah especially yeah. this season of end of all hope i'm really like excited about yeah because it starts it starts off a little slow because it's building up towards like some pretty dramatic stuff yep. later on so I'm excited for that. And now End of All Hope, we were talking about it, is our most downloaded podcast. Yep. So it actually surpassed Paralyzed not too long ago. Yeah, but I just wish that you would get rid of it so other people so, could put their podcasts up. Yeah, 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 right. That's what we talked about. Yeah, that's we just, talked about that wonderful review because that, apparently... That fucking troll. Apparently there's a line that we're all needing to stand yeah, in. Yeah, we got to go back to well, the back of the line. That, so like I so I've, I've been looking at uh, I'm I'm sorry to bring this up I, no, I mean okay. I was, we talked about it earlier but I looked I, I I looked at the reviews like I'm I'm really proud proud of what Robert's accomplished this man. is why I, I invited think. Brett to this podcast <laughs> I just wanted to build myself up Listen, oh it's true out. though I mean like I fucking I, I <laughs> right, am right. fucking proud of you I think right. like what you do is like a great thing and and I'm happy to contribute any way I can yeah. as, as as I'm I'm speaking for Jack but I mean yeah. Jack wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Proud of Especially doing a 24 hour well, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the thing, man. It was a long time ago, and I, I hate to cut you off. I'll be no, brief. No, that's okay. But it's like I was in my job, job, my day job, just like, fuck, I'm, so, I'm just so tired of this. And somebody connected me with Rob, and we sat here and talked for about an hour. I recorded two very small lines yeah. for Atlas Avenue Beat, mm-hmm. and I remember having and that conversation. Paralyzed, and paralyzed, paralyzed the and, first yeah, season finale. Just a cop. Yeah. And I remember telling you, I was like, listen, man, this is what I'd love to do for a living. If I had this option to be an actor, so if you need somebody to be invested and be a part of this and help you with whatever it is, just let me know. And then I think that afternoon I had four or five scripts in my inbox and I was sitting there printing them and reading them. And, and uh, you know, the consistency has gotten there to the point where now I think we work pretty well together. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're you're in every podcast. Yeah, pretty, like pretty much, except for, except for paralyzed right now. Right but now, there's a reason were, for that. Yeah, there's you were in season that. two. You actually did play a small role in season three. Yeah, you're like the brother. Of yeah, America. the very beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but a lot of that, yeah, a lot of that's just more of like just how the story. Because I don't always know where my stories are going. Like right. you know, what I mean, like even like we have an idea of a character he's going to play in paralyzed, but yeah. it just got pushed back because of like story elements. I'm like, oh, I need to do this first, or I need right. this to happen first. So. Uh, building up wise, like that's just how I never even know, like where my finale, like I know where a finale is going to end. I just don't know how I'm going to always get there. But it's right. it's it's really cool. Like when I when I listen to anything from Seven Land Podcast, yeah, the first thing that runs through my my mind is, man, Rob fucking sat down by himself and wrote this. Right. Yeah. That's I mean that's an achievement. 
It's, it's not it's, easy. No, of course it's not easy. I mean, I love but doing it. You love it. it. I you love, love doing it. it. You love right. it. Well, that's, it's like he said, like his whole thing is like, I want to do voice acting. Yeah. Like that's what your dream is. Mine was to be a writer. So it's like kind of living that. Obviously, it's not our full time thing yet. But to yet, speak right. on that, your whole dream was to be a musician. And, you know, you worked jobs that you probably did not like that much. And Couldn't now you're it. at the point. Where you're it. doing music full time, but that but that's when I say like you know I I get kind of emotional like hanging out with Jack right now because I the walk got right, me that through was. that last year of when I was like doing that transition of working corporate America and doing uh and doing music right doing both full time but the walk got me through Dude, so many difficult shit. days when I was I'm sitting in a in a miserable cubicle right so like you guys actually like played a Just role in. To that. Just like that's awesome. I just yeah, I, gotta, I gotta get it the fuck out of here because I mean it was, but it was cool to to you know know that someone was just as passionate as I was about something you know right and yeah so here we are. I mean at I six a.m. drinking well I'm <laughs> drinking beer and <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just had another coffee. I think Jack's got his Mountain Dew. Oh uh, yeah. Still yeah, working. I can't drink that shit to save my life. Really? I, I can. I'm is. only drinking this out of necessity <laughs> right now. Uh, I have actually totally quit soda, and I'm, I'm drinking no water and oh all that kind gosh. of stuff. Wow. But for this, I'm like, let's go. Oh, I, I know it's rocket fuel. I know it'll keep me up. And I know at the end of this, I mean, like one day. So this is all strategic. Okay. You're not like a yeah. Mountain Dew fan. This is. Right this for this, strategic. yeah, this is strategic. I I yeah. used to be a Mountain Dew fan. I when I didn't drink coffee, I would drink Mountain Dew to wake up. And then somebody, uh, this wonderful warm, woman I work with named Teresa, one day was like, "I bought this for so and so, and they don't like coffee, so you drink it." And I was like, "I don't drink coffee." She, she and she just said, "You'll like yeah, you this." Do. <laughs> and I tr- and I trusted her, and I was like, "Okay." And I tried to say, "Oh shit, where'd this come from?" You know. And then I started drinking Dunkin' all the time, but uh, I quit soda, man. It's just. One of those uh, yeah. things. So, so, but for this, for the twenty-four hour podcast, knowing that I need to be awake, and I'm somebody who typically gets at at the least six hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna have to really push. So that's why the Mountain Dew came in. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I I, I kind of gave up. I'm, like, I'll drink soda every once in a while, like maybe maybe once a month. Usually, like once every other month or something yeah. like that. I try not to drink it too much more. I drink right. a lot of water. It's just I, bad for you. Yeah. I mean, even like red, like I'm drinking a Red Bull. Like this is the first time I got a Red Bull that wasn't like the zero yeah. calorie one. No, it's like, it's, but I, so I think Red Bull is a great thing, but so, I, I've seen people drink it like on a daily yeah, basis. Yeah, you can't do any and, of that stuff on a daily and then, basis. Like, I, and I never forget, like, can I see the can of your Red Bull? Yeah. If you don't mind. This is the blueberry one. Oh, so like that's what, it, that's what a fucking Red Bull looked like 20 years ago. And then I started seeing like energy drinks come out and they're like, they're bigger. 20, I'm like, dude, you got a problem if you need to drink this. And I tried yeah. drinking like I, I had a mo- I've had maybe monster. three monster energy drinks in my entire life. Yeah. They're shit. I don't like monster. Anymore. One of my uh, one of my clients in the real world is a doctor. We're not going to get monster he, energy. He, to caught, he show. caught no. me drinking uh, bang energy drink. And that's a brand new one. And he's mm-hmm. like, let me just show you this real quick. And he's an older guy. Yeah. And I don't know the test exactly. But he goes, all right, uh, take a drink of water and then come here and see me. And like basically put my arm down my side. And he goes, now I'm going to move your arm and I want you to resist me. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. Older guy, he couldn't move me to save right. his life. Mm-hmm. And he goes, okay. Take a drink of that bang and just hold a swallow of it in your mouth. I said, okay. So he goes, and we're going to do the same thing. And I did it and I held it and it physically pained me right here and right here. And he moved my arm like it was nothing. Really? And I was like, son of a bitch. Wait, so you're, hold, you're holding the, you're holding it in your mouth? Yeah. What? What's, what's the, that? what's the connection? I wish I knew. <laughs> just, well, I mean, he, he it, knows, apparently. <laughs> yeah, he knew. He moved my arm like it was absolutely nothing. Uh, and when I had water, it was just like my son trying to move my arm. Like, Come on, kid. Right. You know what I mean? But when I had that energy drink, it, it was like I physically couldn't have done anything to stop him. And I could feel it right here in my joints and right here in my joint. And it was like, you know, like I a mean, lot. Energy drinks it's not good aren't for good you. for you. It's not good They're for you. They're not good for no. you. 
And yeah. it's okay to have one every once in a while. Like it's a to me, it's a it's a treat. It's a yeah, right. right. Yeah. Sometimes I do need it. Like sometimes I'll get a Red Bull, like one of the ten calorie ones or yeah. whatever. Go in my in my room, open it up, and start writing at like you know eight or nine at night because yeah. I'm like I want to stay up for the next like four or five hours and just write, and I'll do that. But I, I try not to do it too often, just because I don't want to like I just kind of scared like. 10 years down the line, I don't want to like fuck something up in my body. Yeah, because, yeah. I, th- I think it's okay if you, if you, if you, you know, like I, I, well, I drink a lot of water too. So I've been yeah. trying to drink a lot of water to kind of, but people that. fucking drink that shit like it's, 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 it's Dude. a daily thing. It's, I had a yeah. friend that used to drink like a bottle, like a two liter of Mountain Dew almost every day. And he would just bring it, he would bring it, we would go play football, flag football, and he would just bring, a Mountain Dew with him, and that's how he rehydrated it. And I'm like, dude, Crazy. don't. Yeah. I was like, don't drink a Mountain Dew like to rehydrate, dude. Like, just drink water or at least a Gatorade or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. E- even Gatorade's kind of a. It's not the best, but it's like it's, yeah, it's better than a fucking Red Bull. Y- yeah, better than a Red Bull, better than soda. I've been drinking uh, sugar-free Gatorades. Yeah, I do that too. I do the zero calorie ones too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, again. Really, water is the best thing, but yeah, well, it's still good to like. I can't just drink water. I need something every. Yeah, once but in a if while. you look, if you look at any, <clears throat> excuse me, if you look at any liquid, yeah, that is consumable, something tells me, and this is a hunch, but water is an ingredient. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for <laughs> sure. I mean, that's the thing is, Gatorade is water with like you know some other stuff. So yeah, kind of yeah, get but, them but, but Gatorade should never replace water. It's, right, 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 right. Gatorade is kind of a it's it's a. I mean, it, I I think Gatorade's fantastic. When I, like I drink Gatorade. when I drink Gatorade, I actually mix it with water. Right, because it's just kind of. Well, like, I do the zero one now, and I'll do it like if I'm like going to work out or go outside or yeah. something like that. But for the most part, I try to drink more water. <laughs> I still, I don't know if I can drink like nine glasses or eight glasses a day, like they say, but I try to. I try to drink a decent amount. For the record, for those of you that contribute to Patreon, uh, you're welcome for this amazing content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to get it all on on Patreon. On pa- the and right then, when we're done, yeah. yeah. Then we're doing every episode or every hour per week for but that's 24, 24 weeks, weeks of uh, content. All right, you said you had questions for me. Oh yeah, did I? You did. Is it is it the well, questions? I was if dropping it's... a deuce. <laughs> I knew you were taking a shit. That's awesome. <laughs> hey man, you dude, you've been here for like twelve it hours. Walks like yeah. a duck and it talks like a duck. A, a shit shit's gonna like happen. a duck. It shits <laughs> like a duck. Yeah. Dang, I don't remember now. Yeah, no, it's the questions we've been asking everybody. Is oh. it the is it the food movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. All right. so but you're prepared. Start, start <laughs> yeah, with no, the easy I, I one. I watched though. it and I was like, okay. All right, do the color one. Colors first. What color? So do you need me to ask him after you ask him uh, okay. really quick? So color is going to be the first one you need to answer. Jack, ask him. <laughs> ask him what I just so asked him. Ask color. me a question, Jack. Color, color, color. Is that that's a color question? Question or is that just C O U L O U R? Are you seizing right Are you not getting my inflection? Yeah. What about color? So like, what color describes? Like, what's your favorite color? Or like, what color describes? Like, so we're using these categories to pick something that would best describe you. Yeah, as a person, right? As a person. So it doesn't necessarily. If you can't think of something, it doesn't have to be your favorite. But it can be. People go with their favorites, but. Yeah, we're starting with those categories. First one being color. Black. Black. Okay, you're actually the first person to pick black. No. So, uh, well, no. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan picked oh, black. Oh, Ryan picked black. And some people don't say that black or, or white is a color, but it's I mean, color. to me, black is. is definitely a color. Yeah, I will take it. It's on the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, month? One spectrum. Uh, this one I actually thought about. Because I know you're in April. You like April Only showers. I love showers on yeah, my but, birthday. But, but fuck yeah, dude, you. If, if you like fucking showers, then you would like July and August. <laughs> it's not the same. I like springtime. I like chipmunks. We talked about this. He likes I know, animals I making love in proximity <laughs> yeah, of his house. Yeah, I love that little squeak of when I guess So when I, when I was living in North Carolina, I would say like April. And, and my, I'm, a, I'm a May birthday. Right. Uh, but April and May were like two of my favorite months. Now I would say living here. I mean, I I would have to say like November if it's a good year in Florida. Yeah, but November's been hot as shit too. So. You like the one week out of the year it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like I like a good. I no, I actually like November down here because there's a slight possibility that camping season has started, and I want to sit by a fire and right, you know, drink a glass of wine and 
And I remember like three years ago, it got like so cold one week that like 70 something manatees died. And then the next week it was like back to just being normal Florida. I'm like, what the fuck happened that the week? Great manatee purge. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was insane. So yeah, no, November, November. Okay, so November. Okay. That's that's probably the most popular one. Well, thanks, uh, people like Thanksgiving that, too. That in December, but yes, November has been the most. I think most it's the one. most. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I mean, I, I'm a I'm a fan of Thanksgiving as well. It's like boom in my history. Yeah. That's what you picked, right? Yeah. November, especially yeah. living down here, I always like I enjoy Thanksgiving because when I was working bullshit. Mm. Um. I wasn't going to burn two vacation days, you know, in on Christmas right. when you automatically get two for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, and, and it always it always fell into a weekend. Like, it's just a yeah, Thursday, Friday, you know, like, and, fuck the tradition, man. I have to go with, like, what's, you know, what's relevant. And and I could take a I could take three days off, but get a whole week off. Yeah. And that's I mean, so, yeah, it's uh, that's how I think. That's good. Well, okay. All right. Well, number three <laughs> food. You said Chinese, <laughs> <laughs> but he had to change it. But I was so like, yeah, I had to like, get no, more no. specific. <laughs> I just love Chinese food. I don't know specific what it is. Rim. You know? yeah. Yeah. Specific rim. Oh yeah, specific I, rim. I really, really enjoy cooking. So do I. Um, so yeah, it's it's. I'm kinda, in the minority, I guess. I just no, I, don't I, know, I love it. I love it. He I, was cooking alligator the other day. Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Do I, you use uh, pork fat or? Um, I've only done alligator once, but I, I used uh, vegetable oil. And buttermilk, and flour, and of course the alligator. Um, yeah, and then Creole seasoning. It's very uh, stuff. like uh, grisly. It doesn't stick together well, so it always has to have something to to hold it together. Yeah. Oh, generally, it, but it, right. it, it was I I fucking loved making it. Like it was I yeah. I I, li- I just I like being in the kitchen. I like cooking. Like last night, I I would honestly say like my food would be steak, but it's just not true, man. If I if I get yeah. to cook food, that's my food. What the I stater? Don't, I don't, no, no. I just state. like if I get to right. cook something, like I, I get like really excited about it. So I, I don't what, know. Like, but if you were like that, food's me. Like that, that's the food that I would get. Like if I had to make, if I had to answer it right now, this very second, yeah, well, you do. Which is all the matters. <laughs> you, do. But, you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do the alter ego podcast for yeah. Seven Lamb stuff, and and like we, so we'll do top ten lists every once in a while. My top ten list could change, change all the time. The yeah. my, okay, so so my food. Drum roll, please. One, something that's so satisfying yeah. is I go to a restaurant in Indian Shores called the Dog and Parrot, and I order fajitas. And I say, uh-huh. "Don't bring me the, uh, don't bring me the uh, tortilla tortillas. Yeah, I don't need those yeah. because I just want to eat off of a sizzling skillet. Yeah, yeah. and I think I, 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 I think fajitas are are great." But the only thing I really like about fajitas is that you're actually serving it to me on a skillet, and it has to be sizzling. Really? Yeah. There's and I always, something about that cast iron. Yeah. Who's that, the comedian that's, that's like, why can't they just wait like a little bit longer before they bring it out? <laughs> like, why does it always got to be super hot? part of the eating hot? experience. It's yeah. part of the pageantry yeah. of getting it. I mean, I, so, so in North Carolina, I used to go to this place in Chapel Hill called the Rat Skeller, and it was a it was a staple at, around um, UNC Chapel Hill. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, like, dude, you would you would go in this place, and you would – meet servers that had been there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to the early two thousands, but guys had been waiting tables there since the 1960s. Yeah. And it was like this basement type of restaurant, but they would have like these uh, skirt steaks. It was called the gambler and you can get the single, the, the double, the triple, but I swear to God, man, they would bring it out on a like skirt steak and fries on a sizzling skillet yeah, and when you would like put your ketchup down for your fries, like the the ketchup would be, I mean, boiling almost. Oh shit! And I was always like, how cool of an idea would that be if you could just like bring me the raw meat and bring me the hot skillet and just like, let me cook it right right Wait, here? I'll just do it. I, I know, I know, you can do that now, but I mean, it's, uh, but it, no, it was that, yeah, I, I like a sizzling skillet, so. Sizzling. Cool. Right. That's my food. That's good. That's good. Uh, That'll change in that, 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Uh, animal? <laughs> animal. So I heard this conversation last night, but... Um, oh, favorite animal ever, a blue jay. Blue okay. jay? Why mm-hmm. blue jay? Um, you like Toronto? Two reasons. Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with Toronto. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, 
Well, three reasons. One, uh, being from North Carolina, our state bird was a, a fucking cardinal. Which, you don't like cardinals? Well, no. You know, here's what I don't like about cardinals in North Carolina is that we have professional football teams named after a panther. I don't know how often you see a panther in North Carolina. Uh, a hot Certainly team. not a jet not, black yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> we, went, we one time had a basketball team that was a hornet. I don't know what the fuck that means. We uh, had we have a hockey team that's named after a fucking storm. Yeah, but I mean that's no dumber than the lightning, hurricanes and lightning. Like really, right. like we're, we're weather. But we have well, I'd much rather deal with the hurricane than the lightning personally. But that's like the lightning's going to be in there. I, I I'd rather deal with neither. But <laughs> you don't want but but struck. But I don't understand how. Uh, was it is it Missouri? The baseball team, Cardinal, Phoenix, St. Louis Cardinals, yeah. St. Louis, St. Louis Cardinals, yeah, yeah. Sorry, St. yeah, St. Louis Cardinals, and uh, Arizona Cardinals. No, Arizona Cardinals. Oh yeah, football okay, team. Football, yeah, yeah. Why didn't North Carolina? And then there's the Louisville Cardinals, right? Because that's the state bird. It's the state fucking bird. Yeah, but the Blue Jay was just always kind of badass, and uh, Blue Jays got a temper, man. They definitely yes, have a temper. Yes, and, and, and this is where I'm going with this. So uh, I used to live up in Newport Ritchie. Yeah. And, I, and, and for a, a very short moment in my life, I was a homeowner. <laughs> and when one day I wake up to this. Is that annoying? Well, because I can for, do it. I can do it. For keep a, going. Yeah, yeah. Do I it can for, do it for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I woke up to this. Wait, but it wasn't a woodpecker. <clears throat> it was a woodpecker. Oh, OK. It was. I didn't live in a wooden home. I mean, I lived right. in, you know, it was Newport Richie. It's that fucking cinder block or whatever. Right. right. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? So I go outside and this is woodpecker just just. Going to it's town. like, dude, it's not even wood. Like you're you're, you're accomplishing <laughs> like, I'll get some wood somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're accomplishing nothing. But a fucking blue jay came out of nowhere. Yeah. And just told that woodpecker to fuck off. Right. And I was like, You're yeah. cool, man. You're yeah. Cool. I, I was like, I, I'm okay. I'm a fan of the Blue Jay. So then that Blue Jay, you let move in with you. Yeah. You guys shared, he <laughs> rented out uh, one of the back rooms, stayed with you for a while. Okay. So here's the thing based on that Blue Jay, I look at all Blue Jays the same. Yeah. Like, I know it's not the same Blue Jay, but as far as I'm concerned, if I see a Blue Jay, I'm happy. Yeah. So. Flash forward, I get divorced, I get remarried, and uh, I'm in my in-laws' house, and we hear, ah, ah, <laughs> and it's a it's a bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it is trapped in the walls of my in-laws' kitchen. What? Yeah, we can hear it. Like you can hear this bird, like literally in the wall. Yeah. And so I'm kind of knocking around, and uh, my father-in-law just. And I, we cut into the sheetrock. We have to get like a salad bowl because like whatever's in, whatever okay. bird is in here right. is going to try to fly the fuck out. Yeah. And uh, we cut it out, you know, did it just right. <laughs> Good morning. You got somebody else walking in. And uh, sure enough, man, it was a fucking blue jay. Wow. It was a blue jay. So Inside yeah, the like the, the blue jay is just kind of. Been, it's just been a part of your life. For a yeah, while. yeah. So yeah, I think my favorite animal is a blue jay. I like dogs a lot. Yeah, cats are pretty cool. Yeah, you know, but uh, I mean, but no, a blue jay is a good answer because no one's done blue jay. Yet. Yeah, no, nobody. But, yeah, I don't think blue jay's done a bird yet. A, a blue jay is something that like I, I get they're stubborn or whatever, but I mean blue jays don't fuck around, but they're mm. kind of like heroes to me. <laughs> and the fact that a blue jay like fucking saved my house and I got to save a blue jay out of a wall. You're repaying, yeah. Yeah. I, pay it I, forward. Pay it forward with the Blue Jay. Sadly, <laughs> sadly, sadly, I think the Blue Jay broke its wing, and so when I released it out into the wild, like, it got be killed free, by a hawk. there he, was a cat know. just, like, waiting to pounce on it, and I think that Blue Jay didn't survive because, like, he was trying to fly, and he was like, whoop, nah, whoop, nah. it just, like, went down. He couldn't be get more than five feet, and a cat mm. was looking at that. I don't know. But, well, hey, man, last, I, one, I, last I one was a movie. Oh, yeah. movie. Goodfellas. Goodfellas. That's a good one. And the, the interesting Wait, thing, I'm surprised. Uh, now, here's the thing. I'm surprised by that. Why? Because I, I think I would have thought there will be blood. I do love that movie. 
I love <laughs> There Will Be Blood. <laughs> You've watched it a bunch of times, and you even played a character in Atlas Avenue B yeah. where you were playing as a character who was playing as uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, who was playing as Daniel yeah. Plainview. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I make it a point to watch There Will Be Blood once a year. Yeah. I mean, it's a... I, I, Are I think, you like Goodfellas better as a movie? I, I, absolutely. Okay. I mean, Goodfellas is... And uh, the other night, I actually watched um, Mean Streets. Which, yeah. Was that, was that, was that Scorsese's that's Scorsese. first yeah. film? Uh, I don't know if it's his first it was, film. It was before Taxi Driver. Yeah, I think it was 73, 71. I got to be honest with you, Mean Streets sucks. And I'll tell you why. It's been a long time since I've seen it. There, it, it here's the reason why it sucks. It sucks because it's not Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, but, that's true. But here's the thing. there We wouldn't have Goodfellas if we didn't have Mean Streets. Mean Streets is the rough draft of fucking Goodfellas. Yeah, he actually, Scorsese kind of does that a few times because Wolf of Wall Street is also kind of like goodfellas well okay so 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 scorsese does um he he likes to do uh narrative he likes to have a narrator yeah and, he lo- yeah okay in me who Streets. might be like the main character yeah. also so in like so, Hill so and stuff. in me he um he likes to do that he likes to do the the same uh music for the most part yeah me streets yeah. he likes to have that guy sing at the end of the bar and the camera yeah, falls in. in. Him. <laughs> Me, dude, like, like, no, that was like I, his, like, I think that's like his test movie that, like, yeah, eventually yeah. he he got the format down. Like a lot of directors do that. Like you can kind of see the the sparks that they have there. Like, yeah. Even with Steven Spielberg, his TV movie Duel, which was about the truck chasing Dennis Weaver through the countryside. Like, there's a lot of stuff in that movie that, like, very reminiscent of like Spielberg later on. And yeah. Stuff. And so like, it's, it's kind of cool to like, to see that stuff. So like, yeah, I don't, I don't mean that mean street sucks, right? but it's not the best Scorsese right. film. Oh yeah, for sure. But then again, man, like when it comes to Scorsese, you ever seen shutter Island? I yeah. I, so non Scorsese, but it's a fucking brilliant film. Yeah. It's definitely different. De- definitely a different type of yeah. movie. And I, I had no idea. Uh, Wolf of wall street is also like one of my favorite Scorsese films. I had no idea it existed until my wife said, Hey, uh, I want to go see this movie. It's called Wolf of Wall Street. I was like, what the fuck is Wolf of Wall Street? It's like, it's a Scorsese movie, Leonardo DiCaprio. I went, sold. Let's yeah. go. And I, I, hate, go. I hate going to the movie theater. Yeah. But when you say Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio, at that point, it's just everything they did was just gold. Oh, it's yeah. like, I, I have to go see this movie. One of the greatest fucking movies I've ever seen. I love Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. It was a big role for Jonah Hill, too, in that movie. Oh, extra- oh yeah. that, that was career changing. Yeah. yeah. Was war- I, I haven't seen Moneyball. Moneyball. I haven't seen Moneyball. Moneyball yet. was, Moneyball was his big dramatic you know, turn. Yeah. turn yeah. yeah. And then that's when he started going more into. Are you going to join us? Stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, <you> Come on. <laughs> you can jump on. Well, no, actually, no. Let's down. let's do. A, she let's didn't take go a, to the green room. Let's do a five so. minute break because it's almost seven, and then we'll take a five minute break, and then we'll come back. Oh, good. Yeah, let's do it. Because Christina's here, and she's going to join us for this next one. Hi, Christina. Solid episode, and we got to. Yeah, I'm going to save it here. Thank you. All right, we'll come back Wait, really quick. One last thing. What's your favorite song? Don't answer that. Answer it. <laughs> it's something by Pink Floyd. Just real quick. Dogs by Pink Floyd. Mm-hmm. I knew it was Pink. Floyd. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, oh God. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you for answering. I don't that. hide it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. This has been a Seven Lamb production.